drawing a histogram. You'll be given a group data table, um, which is the same kind of table that you'll have for finding the mean during a cumulative frequency diagram or a histogram. So this table is about test scores and frequency. So seven people scored somewhere between 0 and 10, and 11 people scored somewhere between 10 and 30. To draw a histogram, we need to add on two more columns. The first column is a group width column, and the second column is a frequency density column. So we need to see the width between 0 and 10, which is 10. The width between 10 and 30 is 20. Between 20 and 50 is also 20. Between 50 and 60 is 10. Between 60 and 80 is 20. Between 80 and 100 is also 20. And between 100 and 120 is also 20. To calculate the frequency density, we need to divide the frequency by the group width. So 7 divided by 10 equals 0 0.7. 11 divided by 20 is 0 0.55. 14 divided by 20 is 0 0.7. 16 divided by 10 is 1.6. 20 divided by 20 is 1. 9 divided by 20 is 0 0.45. And 3 divided by 20 is 0 0.15. Now, to draw the histogram, I really only need the first column and the last column. So let's put those together. On the bottom axis, the x-axis, it needs to go from 0 to 120. And the highest frequency density is 1.6, so my scale needs to go from there, which will look like this. Now, I need to draw a bar from 0 to 10 with a height of 0.7. From 10 to 30 will be 0.55, from 30 to 50 will be 0.7, and from 50 to 60 is 1.6. 60 to 80 has a height of 1, 80 to 100 is 0.45, and from 100 to 120 is 0.15, and that's the end of your histogram question.